a ride on my way to maybe Scotland Bay. It's a little bit closer, although this is probably a better angle to Monas. Might go down there and just see how many how many boats are down there. Pretty cool, eh? We're doing it. Wow. Okay. New location. Second night at anchor, and I've decided to come to or back to Scotland Bay. I came here yesterday, and then decided to go to Turtle Bay because it was a bit noisy and busy here. And uh, tonight is just beautiful. We've got some fishermen at the beach there. And other than that, we've only got one other boat. And Scotland Bay is where they have the howler monkeys, apparently in the morning. That's the alarm clock. So that's going to be interesting. But it's beautiful, as, as you can see. It's beautiful and flat. So it's going to be very pleasant. Just a nice gentle breeze. Should be cool sleeping tonight. And uh, heading back to the boatyard tomorrow to the dock. Um, but before I go, I'll try and fly the drone here as well, which would be pretty cool, I think. Nice landscape. Here we are in Scotland Bay, Trinidad. Sun's gone down. We've got the, the finishing of a pretty nice sunset. And uh, wow, it's so peaceful here. It's so nice. Cool spot. It's so flat. The water's so flat. It's nice. The boat's hardly moving at all. Nice, gentle, cool breeze. Inside the boat's starting to cool down already. I've got... Uh, got dinner heating up leftovers from yesterday and uh, it's gonna be pretty nice I think it might even be ready let's um, just test that so it probably is ready Mm -hmm. It is. That'll do us. I'll just let that sit for a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's not too bad in here at the moment. Well, it's cooling down. It's not super cool. Oh, yeah, it's so much cooler up here. It's nice. Look at that. I've got one neighbour. I think I can see them on deck now. I couldn't see them when I first arrived. It's a US flag. All right, good night. Good morning. And a beautiful morning it is. Absolutely stunning. I'm in Scotland Bay, Trinidad, and it's a magic morning. As you can see, but if some breeze doesn't come, it's going to get hot. It's going to get very hot. This is the bay where, during the morning, you're supposed to wake up to howler monkeys. But that didn't happen this... well, that's not true. I did hear a couple of uh, what I suspect are howler monkeys this morning. But based on what people were saying, I was expecting loud, loud, loud and lots of them. But still a wonderful place to wake up to. It's about 9.30. I've given the, uh, I've given the boat a bit of a a wipe over so she's looking um, pretty tidy again 
we've had some Sahara dust lately and it just settles on everything and she was a bit of a mess but she's looking pretty tidy again now except for all the clutter Kay has taken away the uh, the spray hood for stitching repairs oh did you hear that and uh, the bimini will need doing as well but you just took one one at a time away so that I have some shade the monastrail is looking pretty tidy what do you think I woke up to an issue this morning which is a bit disappointing the uh, the inverter is starting up but then shuts down again I've got no idea what what's happening there maybe hopefully it's just a, a something to do with settings Maybe it can, or some sort of, you know, faulty connection. So hopefully that can be addressed without having to uh, to buy a new one. That would be uh, that would be cool. Anyway, I'm thinking about flying the drone off the boat. I'm a little bit nervous about doing that, but. I've got to do it sometime. You can see about the dinghy up on the side. That's for security. So I hoist it up every night and have it chained off to the uh, to the stanchion. That's a I think it's a six mil chain. We have. Um, Oh, my thongs are there. Didn't realise that. This is how dirty the mooring lines get. When at the dock, that is about a week's worth of uh, filth. Interesting. Look, that's where. That's where the knot was. <coughs> look how clean it is. So they can't get in there. So I suspect right inside there, it's probably pretty clean as well. It is. It's just the outside. So. I've got to get to go back to the dock again. It's going back in the water. But once it's um, once it's finished there, I'll give it a clean. And here's my nice new anchor chain. It's attached to which you might just be able to see there, right down in there. Some of the uh, the old chain that I managed to recover, and I've rust converted it and primed so I bought 80 meters 262 feet of new chain not that I wanted to but the old chain as I've mentioned before was all fused together when I came back we've got the nice new uh, sombrella on the Genoa that's looking good and that'll hopefully give me another couple of years use out of the old Genoa but look at this spot I inherited a paddle board it's not in the greatest shape but it's still usable there was a patch put on here because it's split you can see there and I'll put some uh, put a patch on there in the meantime I'm just using some Gorilla Tape and uh, that works as a temporary fix I've used it a few times at the uh, at the marina and I'm looking forward to uh, using it off the boat the only thing is um, figuring out how to lower it and raise it back up again I'll have to make some kind of strop to do that anyway we'll figure that out at some point but in the meantime we will enjoy this uh, enjoy this beautiful bay bit of a breeze now which is nice that'll keep the boat relatively cool inside awesome so I am thinking about launching the drone off the deck area here 
So what I will do is uh, push the boom, push the boom out to the side, and uh, that should leave me a nice open space. Oh, I have to clean these up. Look at that rust. It's just surface rust, of course, but it needs to come off. I took the outboard off for the first time. It was kind of stuck under the covers, the boat covers when it was on the hard, and I couldn't access it properly. I knew that it would turn over because um, I was able to pull the cord and everything was uh, free, but unfortunately, after I was able to remove it from the boat, um, I've discovered that the throttle is seized and um, I guess you'd call it the, uh, the rotating part on the shaft is seized as well so you can't turn the outboard at the moment. So I've just had a quote of a couple of thousand TT which is about $500 Australian to um, not only free everything up but to uh, do a full service, replace the impeller, oil, gear oil, all of that sort of thing. So uh, that's disappointing as well. Wow, listen to that. Wow. Can you hear that? Well, there's something in here feeding off the fish. Off the little bait fish. Wow. It almost sounds like rain. I can't actually see them. Let me put my Polaroids on. Oh yeah, I can just see the, some of them now. Well, that's cool. Well, not cool for the fish. Something's trying to eat them. Anyway, let's see if I can fly this drone.
All right. Well, that was uh, kind of fun. I've lost, lost a little screw though for those floats on the drone, which actually was an issue today. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use them again. I thought it was protection for, you know, if I accidentally dropped it in the water, the drone that is. But in fact, it uh, it just gave way too much resistance. I had a strong wind warning and uh, flying over there, I was struggling to get it back, back home here against the wind. And I think it's because of the floats. Doesn't get much better than this. Still things to do to Monastrel, but we're getting there. And soon, hopefully, we'll be able to enjoy this kind of thing on a more regular basis when everything's working properly again. Oh no, look at these fish. Trying to eat off the uh, the plastic. Oh, that's terrible. Well, there we go. I managed to uh, get rid of that piece of plastic out of the water. The fish thought it was food. They were nibbling away on it. That'll explain the microplastic microplastics in the uh, in the food chain. These little fish obviously nibble away at the plastic. The bigger fish eat the little fish and end up with the plastics inside their system. And then of course we eat the fish and end up with it in our system. Not good. Okay, let's see what the wind noise is like with the microphone underneath the covers and whether or not you can hear me well enough. Hello? I've misplaced my little wind socks on the microphone, which is a real pain at the moment. I've got no idea what I've done with them. I'm hoping I haven't accidentally tossed them away. Anyway, hopefully it'll turn up. But uh, it was fun. I think I've got a little bit of nice footage and it's it's always nerve-wracking by the way it's a little bit stressful flying the drone over the water and we have another boat coming in over there there's a fishing boat and also another yacht a little yacht is coming in Let's go back to Monastrel, have some lunch, and then we'll head back to the uh, marina. Head back to Peaks. Not that I want to, but um, it's necessary. Beautiful Scotland Bay. And this is the, uh, the Coast Guard by the looks. So these are the guys, these are the guys that rescued us on Alethea. How's that? That's pretty cool. Let's hope we don't have to do it with uh, Monastrel. How good does she look? Nice. Alright, leaving Scotland Bay. This guy can have it all to himself now. Back to Peaks to do some more boat jobs. That was a nice stay. Let's hope we're going to do it again very, very soon. Just coming down the channel now to Peaks and Shagaramas. That's uh, Gaspery Island there. Kind of like a private island. Very exclusive. Some big houses on this side. Massive. And there's the Coast Guard base, which is where we were when we were rescued on Alethea. There we go, Centipede Island. 
and peek straight ahead.